We're at UW Sheboygan, where tonight the Wombats take on UW Washington County. Hello, everybody. Alongside the coach, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Chris, Sheboygan comes in 0-2, and they're going to have to play a strong Washington County team who's uh, been good over the years. Well, it's interesting. It's Veterans Day today, which thanks to all the veterans, but my gosh, we're playing basketball, and it's November 11th. And like you said, Sheboygan's got two games, but this is their home opener. So maybe coming home uh, will make things a little bit easier, home cooking a little bit. They've been putting up a lot of points so far, that's for sure, but uh, we have to see maybe some defense by Sheboygan, but I'm excited for basketball. One of the things we like to see when we come out here is some familiar names, and Lucas McKnight played last year and uh, made some heavy contributions, but they got a new kid on the block who's uh, really been scoring the ball. A uh, new kid on the block, well, for us it's not new. New for out here, but T.J. Pitch, longtime uh, player over at Sheboygan South, has brought his town over here. Hey, only four years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he brings his town over here the other day. He had 32 points in the game and in their loss the other day, so it's nice to see T.J. There's a couple kids from Sheboygan Falls starting and a kid from Kohler starting, so very much of a county type uh, team here. And, and you know, this is a two-year college where you know, you, for basketball, you get two chances to play, and if you turn out to be really good, you can maybe move on to like a bigger, better program, maybe in the WAC, WIAC, or something like that. So it's always a nice uh, thing to see these. And you said that Washington's got a pretty talented team as well. And that's not unheard of to have kids come to Sheboygan and, and play for a couple of years and move on to uh, bigger and better things. Uh, so that's not out of the question. Uh, TJ Pitch, you know, hasn't played a whole lot, I don't think, uh, the last couple of years since high school. So this is a, another opportunity for him. Also an opportunity for us to get started this year, uh, get us out of the shoot. Yeah, I'm excited that uh, the NBA started a little bit and uh, bas the college basketball, they're starting this week a little bit. And like we said before, already two games in for uh, Sheboygan County. They play their season basically until February. It's always nice to come out here and see some of the kids we saw before. And, you know, this is something that maybe the community doesn't always get an opportunity to, you know, to see either. So you should come out here and see some of their games. They're, you know, they're always their scores are in the press and stuff. But again, it's a chance for a lot of local kids who maybe don't want to go to a bigger college right away, maybe live at home and come to here and, you know, start their, their careers in sports here and or even just continue their careers. There's a lot of players we get that don't even play in their high school teams and they come out here and play as well. Great opportunity that way. Sheboygan does have a new coach, uh, William Greenwood the second. And uh, one of the things that I read uh, that he had mentioned was he plans on doing some recruiting. Uh, I don't think the last uh, couple coaches maybe recruited as much as they could have anyway. Yeah, and that's something, you know, to be successful in this, you got to get some local kids. And, you know, probably not, again, those all-conference players, but, well, T.J. Pitch was a, an all-conference player, but more, maybe a little bit down the line, kids that maybe were the third or fourth or maybe sixth man off the bench to come and play. And you can build a nice little program, and this has been a nice league that's been around for years. I mean, there's been a lot of good players that have played here. Yeah, and with that, we're going to step out for a minute. When we come back, we'll have the tip-off for tonight's ball game. We have a job to do out here today. To be a winning team, you have to work like a winning team. My team depends on me. And my team is 50,000 strong. Looks like a lot of work's going into this. This is what it feels like to be part of a team. A winning team. The action team. Get in on the action at actionteam.org. You win. You always made sure I brushed my teeth. You told me that smart was cool. You always told me to dream big. To all of those parents who took the time to make raising their children their most important job, we'd like to say, Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thanks, Mom and Dad. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. Hi, everyone. I'm Emily. I'm super excited to introduce my dad because he's my hero. When I was little, he was doing this really important work, driving ambulances in Iraq. Now he's home, and he's still a hero because he tells the ambulances where to go when there's an emergency. I'm so proud of him. He's awesome. He's my dad. 
if a service-connected disability hinders your civilian career, Volk Rehab offers a variety of services to help prepare you for your next mission. Close the door to cancer. HPV vaccine is cancer prevention. Vaccinate your kids at 11 or 12. Best compliment I ever get is when someone says to me, you had breast cancer? They look at your chest, did you have operations? I said, yeah, I had bilateral mastectomy and reconstruction. That's the best compliment. Women who are told about their breast reconstruction options report feeling in control and experiencing a higher quality of life after cancer. Before you undergo surgery for breast cancer, get the facts. Make sure you know your breast reconstruction options. For more information, visit BroadAyUSA.org. I tell people I have three kids, one of them's adopted, I just don't know which one. I can't imagine having to be in a birth mother's position to make that choice. You know, I was kind of just asking her, you know, what is your motivation? Why are you doing this? And she looked at me and she said, because you can give my son a life that, that I could not. We always tell her, thank you. He is such a blessing to us. Every day is just a ray of sunshine from her. So We're Chanda and Brian, and we chose adoption. The lineup's coming up, and uh, we'll turn it over to the uh, public address announcer. From West Bend East, number two, Seth Schrank. And guard from West Bend East, number three, Aiden Steiner. And guard from Milwaukee School of Languages, number 13, Drew Gallup. And forward from WCLL. There are your starting lineups for tonight's basketball game. Uh, familiar face over on the uh, Sheboygan coaching staff, Chris, Butch Kane. Yeah, from uh, Plymouth. Yeah. Dad, long he, uh, time coach. Coach varsity basketball last year at Plymouth. I believe he did. I know he was doing some coaching. Yep. Over there. Anyway, great to see Butch. By the way, do you know what his real first name is? No. I do. Francis. Okay, did not know that. Our officials tonight are uh, Scott Valenstein, Tom Rush, and Eric Van Hult. Van Hult. Sean Delhunt and Richard Bartson are running camera. Carrie Coutzer is our director tonight. And Washington County controls the tap. Seth Schrank has it on top. Sheboygan in a man-to-man -man defense. Three-point attempt is no good. Rebound by Washington County is no good. They get the offensive rebound again. And this time, picking up the foul for Sheboygan was uh, Jordan Taylor. Well, they're going to have to rebound a lot better than that, Chris. All 
On the line for uh, Washington County is DeAndre Johnson. There's a pretty good crowd here for a Wednesday night. Normally come out here, and there's not it's a, a lot of people. opener, that's oh, why. Well. Washington County is coached by Steve Murphy. Couple oh of misses, boy. another offensive rebound, and the pot is missed. Coming away with the rebound for Sheboygan was Holscher. No score. Sheboygan's first uh, possession. Yep. And uh, travel call on uh, Sheboygan's Ryan Halverson. I think he did it twice. Finally get a possession after they get three offensive rebounds yep. and then you turn it right back. Uh, he could have kept dribbling. Taking it hard to the basket but getting it blocked was uh, TJ Pitch. And uh, foul call. Pitch will be going to the line, shoot a pair. TJ in uh, their game on Monday night had 32 points, five rebounds and two assists. He's been a scoring machine. Well, he always could shoot, Marty. There's no doubt about it. Like I want to correct you shot. on that. I could always shoot too. He <laughs> makes them. <laughs> Couple of free throws by pitch makes it two to nothing Sheboygan. Shrank penetrating and pitching. Another three point attempt is good. That time by Colin Lieber. Second year player from West Bend East hits a three. Knight almost lost it. Looks like they run a, you know, dribble, dribble drive kind of like North. A missed shot, but a tap up is in by uh, Jordan Taylor. Three point attempt is no good and another foul. This time it's gonna go on Ryan Halverson. The one I don't like, Marty. Yeah, foul a jump shooter. And he was out at the three-point line besides. 18.30 left. Steinhardt on the line. That knots the score at four points each. Ryan Rush in the house watching his dad officiate tonight's game. He's got to leave, go play a City League basketball game, so I think the plan is to get thrown out of the gym. <laughs> He's not listening. <laughs> Trifecta for Hayden Steinhardt, Chris. Six to four. Washington County pitch. McKnight. I didn't think he traveled on that one, Chris. Looked like he did it right. Shrank also, uh, West Bendis, that's the point guard number two. There's your uh, international travel. Two turnovers apiece. For each team. Pitch has it, they're calling out the play. Washington County's been in a zone defense basically, and well, now they switch to a man to man. Really filling up the lane. McKnight from outside the line can't get it to go. Wow. And the hand went down, and the travel was called, and DeAndre Johnson is saying, what? Well, I think the reason he's upset, he got clipped, yeah, and he then got the travel sure. called. Then you got to call a foul instead. Wow. 
It tried to penetrate, but good defense by Washington County. McKnight on a turnaround in the lane, puts it up and in. And nice McKnight had a him. nice year last year here as well. All tied up at six. Another three attempt is no good. And uh, Washington County just jumps a little too good. But coming away with the rebound that time was Marzano, but pardon me, uh, Holscher. Pitch from outside, no good. Holscher gets fouled. Foul is going to go on Colin Lieber. First. 17 minutes left. I was going to say, first left. sub, Marty. Yeah, first sub, you're right. Good swing. McKnight open. Bango! <laughs> Lucas McKnight has five points. Leads all scorers. First three pointer made by the Wombats. Lean in is no good. Looked like a good block inside, but I think they're going to get Taylor with his second foul. Getting ready to check in for Sheboygan is a Tyler Hollis. I remember him from last year, Marty. He's our Georgia connection. South Cobb, Georgia. Like I mentioned in the opening, you can only play two years, so this Should will be, be his it. swan song. Yep. <laughs> Alice uh, hit the line trying to save the ball. Washington County will get it out. It's nine to seven, Sheboygan on top. Huh. I guess they thought it hit out of bounds before. Uh, the save happened. Yeah, right? Hollis grabbed it. McKnight trying to get around the corner, did. Shot in the lane is up and in. Nice play by Lucas. He's made his last three baskets. And we get a timeout by Washington County with 16.31 remaining. Sheboygan on top, 11 to seven. There you see down in front of us, Lizzie Kapler from Cedar Grove, Belgium, and Ashley Miller from Sheboygan South. Ashley's got her uh, hand on her chin. Uh, they are doing the stats and running the clock and just trying to keep everything in order. Oh, actually, I take that back. Ashley is shopping online. <laughs> <laughs> you got a full minute for timeout. They even have put up on the board, Marty. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Hey, little change in high school basketball this year, too. Oh, yeah. that 16-minute uh, halves? Yeah, the halves. That'll be a different attack. I'm not sure if I like that, Marty. Some things, I'm, I'm tough for change. I no, like I, I traditional. I understand. It's uh, uh, one of the things that I thought was actually a positive for making the change was uh, less stalling out the clock. You know, you stall out the clock at the end of the first quarter, take yeah. the last shot, and then the same thing would happen at the end of the third quarter. Good points. Eliminate that. Javon Williams in the ball game for the first time. Oh, pretty good defense. Hollis uh, was able to uh, knock it away. Pitch has an opening down the lane. Couldn't get it to go. Thought he was fouled. No call. Oh, that's got to be a charge. Uh, good call by uh, Scott Valenstein. Yeah, pretty easy one. Dominique Ritchie commits the foul. Basically just... Tipped his shoulder right in here, and now we're going to have a little pressure from 
Washington, who has many more players than uh, yeah, Sheboygan. Yeah, I think I counted 13 to seven, eight, act nine for Sheboygan. Actually, oh. the one guy's got a shirt on, but he's not suited up. So it's seven, eight players for Sheboygan. McKnight couldn't get it. Good rebound and a putback by Nick Holscher. 13 to six, Sheboygan. Sheboygan in the man-to-man -man defense. Good pressure by Halverson. Wow. And uh, the basket is not gonna count. There was a foul before that on the rebound. Tyler Hollis will pick up the foul. Gallup has four offensive rebounds, number 13 for Washington County. Overall, they have five offensive rebounds, which is way too many for the first five minutes. Camarius Young in the ball game and checking out is uh, Colin Lieber. Lieber was leading Washington in uh, scoring with four. Good Knight defense. Playing, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Kept his feet down. And another foul, that one's gonna go on uh, Hollis again and that's gonna be his second. Pat Marzano checking in. And for Hollis, it's going to be a yeah. short half for him. Two fouls and a couple minutes of play. 13 to 7, Sheboygan on top. A oh, good defense. Good pressure on the shot. And after the shot, Marzano a little too aggressive. That really should be an after the shot fall, but I don't know if that's what it's gonna be. No, they're gonna give him three. I don't know what you think. Uh, that was well after the shot and he was boxing out and that's 16 fouls in five minutes. We don't have enough guys at yeah. this rate to uh, Great continue point. this foul thing. Might have to fall back into a zone for a while just to protect your guys. They keep missing free throws, Marty. Yeah, they could use some misses. <laughs> they were making all their free throws. We'd have just about a tie ball game. Sean Fisher, he's from Hartford. Hayden Steinhardt early in the ball game went to the line to shoot three and knocked them all in. And Sean Fisher makes two out of three. McKnight bringing it up. Pushes it in, he gets fouled. I think they're gonna say before the shot. Foul goes on uh, Washington County's Dominique Ritchie. Sheboygan moving the ball pretty well, Chris. Ooh. Oh, easy call again. Yeah, Drew Gallup on the reach in. That's an easy call for an yeah, official when you why. reach across the body. This is not playground ball. No. no. There are guys in stripes calling it. McKnight gets it down deep, fakes the pass. Looking to go one-on-one. -on -one. A good step-through move, Chris. Oh but he boy. couldn't get it to go, and then he commits the foul. Lots of fouls, Marty. Yep. That's seven on Sheboygan. We're going to be here till 10. Told my wife I'd be home early. We're in a bonus already, and we haven't even played six minutes of basketball. 
14.30 left. Fisher was just at the line, made his last two of a three free throw trip. And that former Oriole makes it. Couldn't get the second. And uh, good rebound by Marzano. 13 to 10. Sheboygan still on top. Ooh. Off the glass and in for Nick Holscher. He's two of three from the floor. Got three rebounds already. Young man from Sheboygan Falls. Jump shot no good. Rebound. Put back is no good. And you know who I think tipped it in? I think that Holscher tipped it in. We'll give the basket to... Uh, Fisher, he has five points. Oh, McKnight was open on the cut through. And uh, Halverson throws it away. We've actually played a full minute, Chris, without a whistle. D3, no good. Marzano in the right spot at the right time gets the rebound. Sheboygan 5 of 11 from the floor early on. Pitch looking for an opening, couldn't find it. Halverson does. Glances off the rim and the glass. No good. Fisher with the rebound for uh, Washington County. Under 13 minutes left. Little give and go. Shot is, they're going to say no. It hit the wire. Hit the wire. But there will be a foul called. Foul goes on Halverson. That's his second. I've got Halverson, Hollis, and Taylor all with uh, two fouls each. Dylan Gilbertson getting ready to check in. Fisher's at a busy half, Chris, at the line again. This is gonna be his seventh free throw already. I have them for two baskets, Marty. Two of 10. And That's what I have. 13 points. Everything's been done at the free throw line. Another make by Fisher. Seven points for him. It's 15 to 14, Sheboygan. Pitch's uh, layup attempt is no good. And Fisher comes away with the rebound. He's got five rebounds for Washington County. Driving attempt is no good by Schrank, and coming away with the rebound was Holscher. And then Sheboygan calls a timeout, and uh, Coach Greenwood is not very happy. That might give some of guys a blow as well. I was reading this book. Uh, it, was a, it was a John Wooden, the most recent book by Seth Greenwood, I believe, or Seth. Seth somebody. Anyway, in the early days, back when he was a player, John Wooden, yep. you called timeout. The coach couldn't talk to the team. Oh, really? <laughs> it was basically for a rest. That's what it was. Wow. Now, the way the game is played and uh, run, you only need seven players as long as they don't fall out. Yeah. Because well. you get so many breaks. There you see Butch Kane in the suit jacket and the gray hair. <laughs> They have, uh, I believe Wooden went, he was in Indiana in high school, right? Went yep. to Purdue. That's where you, all American yep. at Purdue. Obviously a, was a good friend of Coach Tom DeSatel at Sheboygan North. Yep. 
I was talking to Desso about the book. He's not a big fan of it. He said he was actually visiting with uh, John Wooden when this uh, author was doing his interviews. We're uh, under 12 and a half minutes left in the half. Sheboygan continues to lead, but uh, it's been slowly going down. Holsher shot is off, no good, and Shrank with the rebound. Washington County trying to run. Good inside feed. Shot is up and in by DeAndre Johnson. Johnson was deep there and nice little layup off the glass. Pitch on the drive, couldn't get it. Marzano with the rebound. Alberson's shot is no good, but he does get fouled, and I think that's going to go on Hayden Steinhardt. TJ Pitch without a basket. He's 0 for 4, but uh, there hasn't been a lot of openings for him, and I think Washington County's kind of focused on him. I guess when you put up a couple 30-point games, you're going to get a little... Yeah, you get some attention. Yep. You're right. Chris, that was the first free throw by Sheboygan in the half. Wow, 11:41, and Washington County's made all their hay at the line. Washington County has shot 14. Ooh, that's oh. too many. Wow. Washington County comes down and they have the lead, 16 to uh, 15, 11.30 left in the half. A good inside feed, Johnson puts it up and in. Johnson making a living in the lane there. I think he also put up a house. <laughs> <laughs> good inside feed, yes. Marzano on a great catch and shoot and got it up and in. Like that pass. Little weave run by uh, Washington County. Three point attempt is no good. Pitch with the rebound, trying to push it. Nope, oh, looking for a backdoor cut. Yeah, a little late on the. Uh, on the cut, Gilbertson didn't recognize that he was going to be open. Foul goes on Shrank. That's their seventh foul, so Sheboygan will be in the bonus moving forward. Pitch can't get it to go. He's two for, you know, I, I missed two free throws, Chris. Uh, TJ did make two free throws very early in the contest. So this is uh, the sixth attempt coming up for Sheboygan, but they've only made two so far. We're all tied at 18. A little crossover, a pitch out. A good effort that time by uh, Washington's, Washington County's Drew Gallup. He had a good shot at the basket, couldn't get it to go, and then did an outstanding effort to get the offensive rebound. Yeah, he's been very active on the offensive glass. As I mentioned before, he's already got four offensive rebounds. Here's where having pitch really gives you a big benefit, Chris, is his ability to handle a ball and handle pressure. McKnight back in the game. Good inside feed and making the basket was uh, Jordan Taylor. 
Halfway home in the first half. A very long first half. Yes, it has. We're only playing 20 minutes, right? <laughs> Inside shot is no good. Rebound putback is no good, and Gallup stole it away from Holscher, but Sheboygan gets it back. Fortunate break there for the Wombats. Pitch with a short jumper, bango. He has five, 22 to 18. That was a nice pull up, Jay. Oh boy. That can't be a continuation. Ball's gonna go on pitch. That'll be his first. Checking in for Washington County is Zach Cull. Zach is uh, from West Bend West. Shrank with a free throw. His first point to the half. It's a good shot. Sean Delahunt, you see him back there, running the floor camera. Richard Bartson up on top. Kerry Kautzer, our director tonight, and Lucas McKnight turns it over. It's just the fourth turnover on the Wombats. Oh, a nice drive. Good move that time by Drew Gallup. Ties up the ball game with nine minutes left in the half. McKnight nice. on a shot fake. Rises above the crowd, but can't get it to go. And uh, the ball goes off of DeAndre Johnson. Wow. Yeah, I thought Sheboygan tipped it out. So Gilbertson knocked out of his hand. Not a good pass, so TJ couldn't set his feet. Right. Had a great double screen to work with, but uh, the bad pass meant they couldn't uh, get the shot. A good layup by Johnson, taking his time, getting it up and in. Very lanky Johnson is. Yeah. Whoa. Pitch looking down the lane, gets a good feed, and uh, picking up the foul was Taylor. He'll be shooting a pair. Coach Probably. Greenwood yelling out there, what are you running? <laughs> uh, Sheboygan's really struggled at the line, Chris. Three of seven. Fisher checking back in. Coming out is uh, Johnson. Hey, did you see the news about Mike Johnson? Yeah, congratulations to yeah. him. Sheboygan A's Hall of Famer. Mike is gonna be inducted this summer into the Sheboygan A's Hall of Fame. Sheboygan Lutheran grad. And yep. You know, when I think back to his playing days, I don't remember him so much as a pitcher, but uh, that was right. probably his strongest position. I agree. Again, Washington County controlling the boards and uh, Gallup with another basket. Washington County on top, 26-23, rolling down to the eight minute mark of the first half. Gallup with six offensive rebounds now. Pitch from outside the line, couldn't get it to go. Tap up is no good. Washington County comes away with it. Cull had it, gave it up to the three-point shooter, Liebherr, but he couldn't get it to go. 
He does have one three. Matter of fact, that's the only three of them. Uh, McKnight has a three. Each team sitting with one three, right, Chris? Yep. Seven and a half. McKnight on a strong drive and he scores and he's fouled. It's his fourth basket of the half. I have him four for eight. Fisher picks up the foul. Wow, all of a sudden the beeping is off. What did you do? <laughs> I don't, Kick I don't a wire? <laughs> Maybe, I think I did. Hey, great move. <laughs> It's the best move you've made all night. <laughs> now it's almost too quiet, Marty. Uh, Gallup with another rebound. I can rebound. enjoy this. <clears throat> so you're getting the same thing in your ear, huh? Yep, you. <laughs> That's it, I'm done talking. Who made that? <laughs> Basket by Lieber. He has six points. I don't think Pitch or McKnight have been out the whole game, Marty. They're the only ones really not in foul trouble oh, either. Nice steal by Gallup. He drives, he's fouled, goes right into the tripod, and uh, Sean Delahunt was banged up against the wall. But he's smiling. So are the girls, they like that when the boys get run over. <laughs> First foul on Holscher, Chris, that's pretty amazing. Well, they gotta keep Holscher, McKnight, and Pitch out of foul trouble because everybody else is in it. 6.43 left, first half, been a long half. Yeah, for sure. Oh, oh boy. boy, let him sneak right in between there. Fisher was the uh, basket maker, and that was bad blockout by Sheboygan. Matter of fact, you couldn't even call it bad blockout because there was none. That's Ooh. the tenth offensive rebound for uh, Washington County, Marty. Well, that's that's way too much. There's uh, Washington County's up 31 to uh, 25. Well, and. Sheboygan not too long ago had the lead at... Uh, they had the lead at, for the longest time. They sat at 15 for uh, quite a while and uh, they kept chipping away. Gilbertson is the only Sheboygan player without a foul. Ryan Halverson, Tyler Hollis, and Jordan Taylor. Taylor in the game right now. Each are sitting with two, so they're gonna have to be awfully careful. Uh, Dominique Ritchie, 23, is the only player with two fouls for uh, Washington County. Silly foul by Cull. Yeah, for sure. Nope. Bonus time. Yeah, Paulus has not been to the line yet, Chris. Hopefully he doesn't uh, have the same uh, troubles the other free throw shooters have had. Oh, both are in double bonus, excuse me. Hey, did we ever mention in these broadcasts the importance of making free throws? Yep. <laughs> right. Fisher going hard, Lieber, pardon me, going hard to the basket, couldn't get it in. Now oh, they look like to be in a zone again, Marty. Yeah, you're right. Pitch, Ooh. couldn't get it to go. Lieber with the nice rebound. Gallup going hard to the hoop, had it tapped and out of bounds, they'll keep it. 
pitch is 0 for 6, Marty. Or excuse me, 1 for 7. 1 for 7, he's missed all three of his threes. Lieber with a good move, but uh, good defense played that time by Lucas McKnight. That's the second time I can remember, Chris, where he really played smart defense. Nice. Oh, good movement of the ball and uh, getting the basket for Sheboygan was Taylor. He probably he doesn't seven. deserve the basket, but he's gonna get rewarded. Some very good passing there. By McKnight. Too deep. Yeah, not a, another offensive rebound by Washington County. And uh, kissing it off the glass that time was uh, Steinhardt. That's the first points for him since early in the game when he made those three free throws. 33-27. Taylor shot no good. McKnight with the rebound. Holscher couldn't get it. I was reading the article about their game the other night, Chris and Sheboygan only shot like 33 or 34%. And uh, well, they were at about 50% for much of the half, but. Good anticipation by McKnight. He saw the play develop and made the interception and drew the foul. He had a three-point attempt, made the basket, obviously, missed a free throw, and see if he can knock down a couple here. I have them 11 for 28, Marty, so just over, what, about 38% maybe? You pretty good in math like that in your head? Uh, sometimes. It's the average doing all the baseball, right? That's right. I remember as a kid always doing averages and stuff, you know, uh -huh. different yeah. weird things. Holy cow, jeez. Sheboygan continuing in a man-to-man -man defense. Good feed inside the Johnson, he rolls it in. He likes it right there, Marty. That's his little spot. He's got eight points. So we roll under four minutes in the first half. Sheboygan down eight. Yeah, that was a good call. Pitch is gonna pick up his second personal. And right now the Wombats look flat. They just can't get anything going. They need somebody to start picking things up. Well, you're having trouble making baskets and then you can't pop any free throws in, you know, it's pretty devastating. Only down eight. See if they can crawl back in here. See? Told you. He was trying to add tournament. furniture to his uh, home that I said he was building before. And this time he got caught. Adding a deck. <laughs> DJ Pitch has it out on top. Washington County back into a zone. Uh, pardon me, a man-to-man. -man. Nice. Good move by McKnight and he puts it up and in. He's really got a nice drop step. 11 points in the first half. Little backdoor lob, easy basket for uh, Johnson. He's a high riser. Yeah, he's made his last five baskets. All inside the paint.
Over to McKnight, leaning in off the glass, can't get it to go. Lieber gets the uh, defensive rebound. Going right down the lane, missed it. Holscher gets that all important defensive rebound. Holscher wide open. Oh no. Washington County on the alternate possession will get it. No, oh, Sheboygan. Sheboygan does. Arrow points their way. Somehow Opening. that doesn't seem fair. <laughs> Opening tap went to Washington County, so. Good defense underneath by Javon Williams. Yeah, that's got to be a walk. It. Yep. Going down hard was uh, Ryan Halverson, and uh, he's smarting a little bit. Yep, a little grimace. 217. See if Washington County takes some clock. 30 second clock here. And they're up eight. Yeah. They shouldn't Steiner be in a hurry. Off a double screen. Sheboygan comes away with the missed shot. Pitch taking it hard to the hoop, couldn't get it. Steinhardt on a runner, couldn't get it in, gets the rebound. Bango. Hayden Steinhardt has seven. And Washington County has their biggest lead of the game at 10. Oh boy, bailout. Yeah. Right. I was just thinking, uh, need to work the ball around better. Kick well, that wire again. Fix some things <laughs> at half. Still a lot of game left. Another opportunity to score from the free throw line. <laughs> Finally. Five for 14 so far, Chris. Six for 15, 40%. Too easy that time for uh, Lieber. Tell you that Washington County has made a lot of hay in the paint. Part of the reason is the foul trouble, I think. Uh, Wayne County is a little nervous about falling there, but uh, 10 points down, minute eight. Davis Larson in the house tonight. Oh, good play. They cleared it out for Holscher and he had an easy basket. He has six in the first half. He had a little f fake pass to the opposite side and minute left. Good back cut. Williams on the dish off to Lieber, but he travels. Yeah, he couldn't get the handle. Eighth turnover by the Wildcats. A uh, little bit of a change in uh, college basketball too, Chris. The boys used to operate with a 35 second shot clock. It's down to 30 now. Oh, wide open was Taylor, they missed him. Hope it doesn't change anymore, Marty. Shot is no good. Strong rebound that time by uh, Camarius Young. 
Well, two second difference in the shot clock and the game clock. It's down to 20. Fifteen seconds. Coach Murphy tells him to go for one. Too far away. Long shot through the rafters. No good. And we're at halftime with Washington County on top, 41 to 33. Day, we need to get outside. But honey, I think there's a game on somewhere. Well, I know another game we can play. What? Golf? You and me? I'm ready to learn, and I found a great deal on lessons. Okay, game on. I think I can take it. Now you can learn to play golf, starting with one great deal. Five lessons from a PGA or LPGA instructor, starting at only $99. Get the details at getgolfready.com. Get ready to play. Parents sure have their hands full, and they could use an extra hand. Now, every state offers free or low-cost health insurance for your sports hero or budding artist. Kids up to age 19 can get checkups, doctor and dentist visits, hospital care, prescriptions, and more. Your child may qualify based on your family size and income. It's one less thing to worry about. Call or go online for more information. Our daughter might be drinking or taking something else. We can't talk with her about it. She keeps everything secret. But when I pretend everything is okay, I'm keeping secrets too. My therapist suggested Alan on family groups. It was helpful to hear what other parents said. Are you troubled by someone's drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn in an Alan on family group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-ALANON or visit alanonfamilygroups.org. We're coming out of halftime here at uh, UW Sheboygan where uh, Washington County leads it at halftime, 41 to 33. Uh, Chris, uh, we could go through some scoring, but I think the big story was two things. Sheboygan was able to stay out of any serious foul trouble, but uh, the free throw shooting has just been atrocious. Yeah, uh, they, what you say, they were six of 15 from the free throw line. Uh, the other negative thing for Sheboygan was they allowed 12 offensive rebounds, which is way too many. Uh, Sheboygan actually shot a better percentage, 39% to 31%, but Washington County got so many more opportunities because Sheboygan committed fouls and they got free free, free throws. And then the other thing is those extra opportunities on the all subjects of rebound. Nice to see TJ Pitch get on track they're going to have to have him have a better second half. Uh, he had 30 points the other day, and today he's only got five on one of eight shooting. I got Washington County making 12 out of 18 attempts from the free throw line, Chris. So uh, Sheboygan was six for 15. That was a very long first half, Marty. Took less than an hour. <laughs> Should have taken about, less than that. Uh, yeah, about 40 minutes normally. Well, we're off and running here in the second half. Sheboygan in a zone. 1-3-1. One, one. Good attack there by the Wildcats, but they just didn't get a bucket off of it. Lieber got the uh, errant pass and uh, put it up and in. He's now three of five from the floor. Pitch from deep, no good. And it goes out of bounds. He is 0 of four from out there, one of nine in the game. 10 point advantage for Washington County early in the second half. Again, Sheboygan comes out with that 1-3-1 trap. 
Almost pitch a on pick. a steal attempt, but couldn't get there. There he is Gallup. again. Holscher comes away with the rebound for Sheboygan, but another offensive rebound and shot attempt by Washington County. <laughs> McKnight was the high scorer in the first half. He had 11. That uh, led both teams. DeAndre Johnson's 10 points led Washington County. Good cut through the lane and a layup by Steinhardt is good. I know this is the start that Coach Greenwood wanted. Hey, it's not the start we wanted. Holscher tried to kiss it off the glass, but it came up short. Fisher with the rebound. Tell you, Fisher for coming off the bench is doing a nice job on the boards. Timeout. I miss who made that basket, Chris. Uh, I think it was, did you have number 30, Lieber? Yep, okay, we'll give it to him. They have three baskets. Number two, number 30, and number 15. And get our first foul, two minutes and Wow, that's a long time for a foul. Seconds. Yeah. Steinhardt picks it up, it's his first. I misspoke. Uh, Washington County is actually 36%. They were 14 of 39 in the first half. Williams got to get something going here. There you go. Aspen, nice you'll pull receive. up jump shot that time by Halverson. Little back cut is no good. Coming up with the interception was uh, Hollis. Hollis, shot. way short. But the putback is up and in by Nick Holscher. Holscher with eight points. Oh no. Holscher's gonna pick up the foul. Looked like he had all ball. Coach Greenwood expressing what I just said, jump ball. Don't reach. Rising up for the uh, basket was uh, Sean Fisher. Fisher has eight rebounds. Now, a couple Pitch. baskets. Get in there. I just can't get it to go, but Holscher rising above the crowd puts it up and in. Nice little tap in. 10 point advantage for Washington County. Nowhere to go there. Good defense by the Wombats. Lieber oh, got bumped come on. by McKnight and he made the basket. That one hurts. Can't believe he put that one in. Really? Second foul on Lucas. Seven points in the second half for Lieber. He's got 15 in the game. And a great start for Washington County to this second half. Yeah, they're five of seven in the second half shooting. Halverson, Short. no good, no good. Holscher with a tip in again. Scoring baskets close to the hoop. Good thing for Sheboygan, but now they gotta play defense. Turnover number 10 on Washington. 15.43 left.
You know, this is something, Chris, that could show up later in the game with all the substituting that uh, Washington County does. They're going to have fresh legs at the end. Yep. Sheboygan will be dragging. And when you're behind, it's so much effort just to catch behind. He traveled and yeah. then he threw it well. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. Nice pass from TJ Pitch, but Holscher couldn't get it in. Fisher, no good. But Lieber comes away with it and kisses it off the glass and in and gives it a little fist bump, Chris. Even he didn't expect that one to go in. A lot of hands by Washington County. They're very active. Pitch trying to drive through the crowd, but had it tipped away. You know, they reset the shot clock. I think it be. should uh, go back to where it was. Going to reset the shot clock to four seconds. Not quite a catch and shoot, Chris, but uh, pretty close. Uh, shot is short that time by uh, Tyler Hollis. And pushing it down and scoring on the uh, driving layup, layup was Seth Schrank. And it's a 15 point advantage for Washington County. There's an easy one. Oh, oh, and he missed finish. it, but he does pick up the foul, but still. It's getting away here, Marty. Yeah, it is. The next game for uh, Sheboygan is uh, Monday, November 16th. They're at Marshfield. Just 28% shooting here in the second half for Sheboygan to go with their 39% in the first half. Next home game for Sheboygan is next week, Wednesday, November 18th. Well, Sheboygan's perfect this half on their free throws, Chris. They got that message. Lieber trying the uh, scoop pass, but his teammate wasn't looking. Still a lot of time left, 14 minutes. McKnight, no good. Pitch, good. <laughs> TJ Pitch with a three. Gives him eight points on the night and Sheboygan's within 10. Step in with the three is good. That basket was by Camarius Young, his first points of the ball game. What a comeback, you get a nice three pointer, which neither team has made any by Sheboygan and then Washington County comes right back with one. Alverson, lean back is no good. A nice pass, but uh, just not quite enough hang time for uh, Richie. Halverson with a 10 footer. He's got four points. 59, 48, 12, 45 left in the ball game. It's amazing how much faster the half is when you're not standing on a free throw line every yep. uh, 20 seconds or so. And another turnover, gonna need a bunch of those. 
Get it under double digit here, boys. Here, oh, there should be. McKnight no. had a good look underneath, but couldn't get it in. McKnight, five of 12 in the ball game. Speaking of fouls, each team is sitting with only two personals, two team fouls, pardon me. Washington County calls a timeout. It's their second timeout, <laughs> Marty. Yeah, I was just gonna do a little more housekeeping in regards to us, we will be back to UW Sheboygan, but that's not until January 6th when they play UW Marathon. Our next broadcast isn't going to be until December 10th. That's a Thursday when uh, South come. Pardon me, when Manitowoc comes to South. Uh, we look forward to starting our high school season. A lot of graduates out of South. A lot of guys gone from last year's team. Yeah. They had a very good JV team, Marty. Um, but uh, they'll be young, and Coach Rank will uh, have those guys starting up on Monday. I know he's excited about his season coming up. We've talked to him a couple of times at the uh, football games. Like I said, they had a very nice JV team a year ago. And High uh, school basketball, by the way, starts on Monday. Yep. So is Desso going to be in the gym at uh, 6 12 o'clock? 6 a.m. 12 o'clock Sunday night? No, traditionally Midnight I know Mandis. North does uh, two-a-days. I'm not sure what Coach Rank does, but two-a-days is not uncommon to start a season. So we know South should be pretty competitive. Like you mentioned, they had that good uh, JV team. Nice runner that time by Javon Williams. How do you think North will be? North will be up there, too. The, as well, we mentioned Davis Larson here. He's uh, one of the best in the state. Should come out to see him sometime this winter as well. A kick out to Halverson. He had a good look at a three, but couldn't get it in. And fighting for the rebound was uh, Collis. And uh, nailing the three is second of the game, second of the half, TJ Pitch. Get him on track. Still didn't break that 10 point deficit though. We got to get under single digits. Plenty of time. 11 Tyler and a half. Hollis was uh, the impetus between that three for uh, pitch when he fought for that rebound. Got it. It's a fifth turnover already for Washington County. A little token pressure. I don't know if this was called by the bench. Just pick your guys up a little bit full. Javon Williams says, pitch, you're not catching the inbounds pass this time. See if we can work it round for an easy basket underneath. Good switch on top. Pitch off the glass, no good, he's fouled. He'll be shooting a pair. Good decision by TJ. Hit a couple threes so they come out on you. You take it to the rack, draw a couple bodies on you, shooting some free throws. Javon Williams picks up the foul. TJ's three for four in the game on his free throws, make it four for five now. He was one of the best last year in the FRCC. He's got 12 points in the game. Went to CCA on the south side. What's that stand for? Christ Child Academy and Connor Harrison was one of his teammates. Good feed inside the Johnson. He rises above the crowd and kisses it off the glass for two. It's his first shot attempt and all his baskets have been right around that area there. He loves that left side. Pitch is open. He's going to take it. He feels it. Couldn't get it that time. Nice. Hollis with the rebound. Couldn't put it in. And Washington County comes away with it. Great opportunity for the Wombats, and they just couldn't cash in. And Ouch. Washington County, Steinhardt comes back with a three. Every time there's a little <laughs> mojo on the 
Sheboygan side. Someone seems to get a basket for the red shirts. Pitch open in the corner. Couldn't get it to go. And a whistle underneath. That was a good call. Taylor was uh, down deep and uh, pushing his way around. Holscher and Gilbertson check in for Sheboygan and uh, Halverson and uh, Hollis check out for the Wombats. At 9.45, see if Washington County starts to use some of the clock. There's not as much to use this year. Good pump fake. Fisher's shot is no good, but I think McKnight is going to get the foul. If it is, it'll be Lucas's third. Nine thirty left in the uh, ball game. Washington County up sixty-six fifty-three. Sean Fisher on the line. He had nine first-half points. Sitting with 11 right now. Dominique Ritchie checks in for uh, Washington County. Need to string some baskets together and uh, some defensive possessions and Johnson going over the back. Oh, he Taylor, and then laying it up and in at the other end was Steinhardt and uh, starting to really get away from uh, Sheboygan now. Patience. Put one in. Step back three is no good by Taylor. Under nine minutes. Johnson gets it down deep and had it taken away. Good steal that time by uh, Dylan Gilbertson. There it is. Gilbertson had Whoops. a shot blocked. Good uh, recovery by uh, Johnson. Johnson had a look from just about the three-point line and passed it to a teammate. Good decision that time. And he goes down hard. Now check that, that was Richie went down hard, but he's uh, up and back in the ball game. Oh, Miss McKnight, bingo. And uh, pushing the ball and shooting the ball was uh, Jordan Taylor, and he scores. And he's going to have a free throw attempt. Johnson picks up his third foul. Lieber and Fisher come back in, or was it Lieber and uh, no, number Dylan? Tylen Hall making his first appearance. Sheboygan's shooting their free throws even after that miss, Chris. They're four out of five in the second half. So they picked it up in that regard, but uh, maybe too little, too late. Oh, my. Oh Step back my. three is good by Fisher. Wow. Not expecting that. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
He knew what he was doing, Chris. Oh, had the shot. Geez. Fisher thought he had a block. Scott Valentine didn't. Foul Who do you throw. think's going to win that argument? Make them pay, Jordan. You got to make a couple free throws. Twelve points now for Jordan Taylor. Unofficially, I have Sheboygan shooting 29% here in the second half. Well, and what did you say they were in the first half? 39. 39. So overall. Overall, I'd say it's not very good. 36%. <laughs> yeah, that's not good enough. Williams on a kick out to Hall. Oh, he couldn't get it. Lieber couldn't get it. Fisher gets fouled by Holscher, and that's going to be uh, Nick's third. Three opportunities to score. Yeah, just one of the too major much things. Washington County under the basket. That's for sure. Got 16 offensive rebounds, only four in the second half, which is a good thing, but now the shooting has gone bad for UWS. This is gonna be Fisher's 11th free throw attempt in the ball game. And I know you're all wondering, well, how many did he make? <laughs> Seven. Hit nine first half points, and he's got uh, 16 in the game. How many second half points does he have? I was <laughs> looking, at other, <laughs> looking at other stuff. 630. A good inside feed, but uh, not a good shot attempt that time by Taylor. Probably run some clock here up by 16. Shot clock's down to 10. Wow, seems like they just got down the floor. I know. That's weird. I wonder if it Five, was Five, one. That's weird at all. Something didn't go right there. There's an, that wasn't right. I told the girls down in front, if we're behind, run that shot clock. You know what I think happened quick. is we missed the rim on this side and they never shot, reset the shot clock. That's a good move. That's a hometown <laughs> move. They're Something pretty savvy right here. That's what happens when you oh. get a foul. Foul before. Foul is gonna go on Lieber. That'll be his third. Both teams, uh, pardon me, neither team in the bonus. Sheboygan has five team fouls, Washington County six. McKnight, Short. oh boy. Driving hard to the basket and scoring was uh, Dominique Ritchie. Ritchie. Yep. Freshman from Brown Deer. And Sheboygan calls a timeout. They're down 18. Not looking good, Chris. Not at all. And remember, we said, you know, sometimes it takes till late in the second half when your legs start to give out. And you know where I think we're seeing that? At least the last couple trips down to shot it, the shooting. You know, anything outside 10 feet, it just it's not getting up there. Yep. No legs. Yep. McKnight's been short. Halverson's been short. Gilbertson is short. <laughs> now the clock is the uh, biggest enemy of Sheboygan. So they're really winding down here with time. 
There's 551 left. You're down by 17. Holscher leads Sheboygan with 14 points, and uh, Pitch and uh, Jordan Taylor each have 13. Good save by TJ. Williams playing the tight D. Alverson uh, missed a shot, but it looks like he got fouled. He's hurting. I might have turned an ankle. Fall went on uh, number 23, Richie. That's his third, his fourth actually. Halverson on the line. His first free throw attempt of the game. Nick Hollister gonna, excuse me, Holscher gonna be coming into the game. 0 for 2 trip that time. McKnight from outside the line. Bango. Another Lucas's first fun. points of the second half, Chris. Yep. He has 14. Ten of, five of 10 in the first half, just one of four in the second. We're under five minutes. Good balance by Sheboygan. Four guys in double figures. A 15 point advantage for Washington County. A good quick knockout to uh, McKnight. And <laughs> Hall, you're just standing in the wrong place at the wrong time. And you're right, I didn't think you followed him either. Think of it this way, Coach Murphy what it'd be like if it was a even ball game. <laughs> we got the buzzing back. Chris is no longer kicking below the table. And I'm working with some cords on top and just nothing seems to be working right. This never happens this when Scott's too, here. Never, never been, we did this way too long together, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we know is not to touch cords. Oh, nice soft touch by Lucas, but it wouldn't roll in for him. Money there. Johnson, just like he's done all night, get close to the basket and shoot jumpers. Yep, seven of nine from the floor and all right there around the paint. Bango, TJ Pitch with another three. He's got 16. I got Johnson with 14 points, Chris. He talked about his seven uh, baskets. And a throwaway. Hall, Hall's pass, cross court pass a little too deep. 13 points is all it is. Four minutes, 12 seconds, still enough time. Thomas Freiburg in the ball game for the first time. First time, he's a Campbellsport high school grad. McKnight couldn't get it. See if uh, Washington slows it up a little bit here. Under four minutes left in the ball game. 
Brandon Lastovich uh, had the ball, number five. He didn't know that he snuck in when we weren't looking. Johnson on a foul on his way to the basket. I almost thought he double dribbled there, Chris. Just a 16 foul on the Wombats, so fresh 30 for Washington County. Making that call was Eric Van Tull. 342 left. Whoops. Steal by Sheboygan, kick down to pitch. Lays it off, a little too hard. Good pressure by Lieber, forcing the miss. A good feed inside. He and missed missing one. a shot. Only the third time tonight was Johnson. Put it up. Put it up. McKnight with a three and a fist pump. Ten point game. It's three minutes. 18 points for Lucas. Under three minutes now. How Washington County handles it. Pitch on a good steal. Lays it up and in. Eight Pitch point. also with 18 points, and uh, they're within eight points. Wow. Yep. Three 245 minutes left. yet. 245. Plenty of time. Let's look at the foul situation for Sheboygan, Chris. They have four players with three fouls, and that would be Holscher, McKnight, Hollis, and Taylor. Uh, sitting with two was Pitch and uh, Halverson. So they're eh, pretty good shape, I think. Yeah, not considering how the game started when everybody seemed to be picking up fouls left and right, fouls aren't gonna be the difference. It's uh, a matter if you can create some turnovers. The thing here is, uh, while Sheboygan's in the bonus, Washington County with eight fouls, so if they can draw some fouls and make them, maybe help make up the difference without the clock even running. Two fifty left. You know, we had talked about the poor shooting uh, not just from the free throw line, but also from the floor. It's amazing how your fortunes change when you start putting the ball through the basket. <laughs> yeah, TJ with a three, Lucas with a couple threes. What do we have? Sheboygan with one three-point basket in the first half, and I've got him for uh, five here yep. in the second. McKnight at the point of this 1-3-1 uh, one, one half-court trap. Washington County pretty content to run shot clock. Good decision. Pitch with another steal? No, not quite. And they reset the shot clock. That's not what should have happened. It should have been a violation. Oh, Sheboygan caught a bad break that time. I think they thought TJ had possession and he never did. Nope. On the line for Washington County is Hayden Steiner. This is his first trip since early in the ball game when he made three in a row. Two, two, two left in the game. This will be the seventh free throw attempt for Washington County. They've made four so far, four out of six. And he couldn't get the second. Holscher with the rebound. Clock's not moving. Clock's not moving. Clock's Pitch not moving. Pitch with a shot, no good. Clock is moving now. <laughs> About six seconds late. Yipper. <laughs> Williams to Johnson. Ill-advised shot by uh, DeAndre Johnson that time. Yep. 
Olsher was eyeing up pitch, but uh, he couldn't get himself open, and uh, pass goes out of bounds. Oh. Pitch has got a bloody nose, I think. Or he got hit in the lip. Got hit, and I thought the ball was tipped as well. Two minutes, under two. Yeah, TJ doing okay. No shot necessary. 16 seconds on the clock, 140 in the game. Kick. Kick. That'll reset the shot clock. Yipper. I saw, thought Coach uh, William Greenwood the uh, second uh, coach a pretty good game here, Chris, you know, coming out with this trapping defense late. There you see Tom Rush. And they're not going to reset the shot clock. It may not reset all the way to 30. It may reset to 15. Whoops. 14. <laughs> You're right there, Marty. In the NBA, that's an automatic reset. Thirty second timeout by uh, Sheboygan. Don't don't call timeout with the clock stop. Why not? No, seriously. Well, I just think that the clock's already stopped. So tell, make a delivery. Say you're going to foul or do whatever. And whenever there's a, you know, you get a make or something, you stop the clock. It's just fool, foolish when the clock's already stopped ahead of time. <laughs> Had enough of this. <laughs> Everything's leaning towards the south, Marty. There you go. You know it'll be fixed in a minute 39. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Everything will be working then. <laughs> I think it's the rain outside. It wasn't supposed to rain till later, but uh, somebody decided to open up the clouds a little earlier. Ooh, did you hear about all the snow in Denver? Yeah. Major storm. Yeah, my brother talked to me. He lives in Colorado Springs, said it's snowing. Six, five, four, three. Launch it, Williams. No good. Even the horn's not working right. 123 left. Sheboygan down by only nine. A couple of threes could really make this interesting. Pitch wide open. Bango! Now you could use the timeout, but the clock is running. It's down to a six point game. Pitch on a good defense on the baseline, but they leave Johnson open and he passes it off of Halverson out of bounds. Fisher's going to check in. Get the big fella back in. Johnson coming out. Fisher and his 10 rebounds, and now we got a timeout by Washington County. 103 Interesting again. Left. 30. 16 points in the second half for TJ. And with the five in the first half, gives him 21 for the game. Spend those three pointers have gotten Sheboygan back. Well, you knew he'd go, get off sometime. We just hoped it would be in the game today, shooting them threes. Would Looked you like go he wasn't fall gonna... right away, Chris? I would. Put them in the one and one before yeah, they get absolutely. to the double bonus. Yep, you want to stretch this game out now. Now with a minute three, you can just get a stop too. Yeah, right. But they do right. have 20 seconds. I think I just see if we can get a stop. Oh. Or a foul. No time off that way. No. Pitch picks up the foul, that's going to be his third. If you're going to have anybody foul, he'd be about uh, the best guy that's out there. And uh, Javon Williams is going to be at the line. He hasn't been to the free throw line tonight, Chris. 
We'll find out if this was a good foul or not. It oh. was, but you forgot one thing. Block somebody out. They all went right to the basket, Marty. Nobody did. They didn't do their job. And uh, picking up that foul is going to be uh, Ryan I believe that's Helverson. the 10th foul, though, isn't it? No, it is. I think they only have them for nine. Taylor was going to check in. They thought uh, Halverson fouled out. And he doesn't miss that one. And I was just going to say, given a second chance, he cashes in. This, to me, uh, that if they get to 81, it's going to be awful tough, 81, 82. They're at 80 right now, because that means you got to make four threes. So 82 is the magic number, I think, for the Wildcats. Holscher, three-pointer. Whoa, baby. 75, five points down. It's 80 for Washington County. Seeing the shot clock's at 22, Marty. It should be at 30. 30, yeah. What in the world is going on, kids? 44.4 seconds left in the ball game. Sheboygan down five. Let's see if they Washington want... County observes what I think. Yeah. They did not switch the shot clock here, Marty. There you see the uh, scoreboard and uh, what we've just been talking about. The clock running down, they give them a minute for a timeout and they run it down. Chris mentioned that in the first half. I mention it again for you people that were sleeping during the first half. Well, Sheboygan's got to go for the steal or they're going to quick foul, force them to make free throws. I still think if they get to 82, Marty, it's going to be awful tough. Well, they got the shot clock reset to 30, yep. but with 44 seconds left, you can't yep. let them run it down, that's for sure. Nope. And I don't think Washington County will be in a hurry to shoot. You should have your best free throw shooters in here. Going for a trap. They got it. They got it. Gilbertson forgot to slide into the spot. That's going to be Halverson's uh, fifth foul. You get the trap there, you got to take away the pass. Now so Jordan Taylor is going to come in. Coach is trying to explain to Ryan Halverson. He tried to get over there. He just couldn't get there quick enough. I mean, it's a lot As easier. As a coach, what you don't like is when the player always has an answer. <laughs> 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 just listen to what I'm telling you and try to do your best. And it's been an ongoing conversation. Block out, boys. Well, this is the big one, Marty. This will make it a three possession game and only 38 clicks left. That's an issue. And he does. Yeah, Javon Williams, after missing that first one, has made four in a row. He's got six points in the ball game. Oh, I got to reset the uh, oh. shot clock. So now you got to get it in again. Thirty seconds, all types of pressure. You can always get it faster, get it up faster when you pass the ball. Holscher from deep couldn't get it. McKnight tapped it out of bounds. Washington yeah. County is going to get it back with 23.1 seconds left. Sheboygan down seven. Defense! 
Pull it out, no shot clock. And uh, Pitch is gonna commit the foul. For uh, TJ, that'll be his fourth. 12 seconds remaining. And uh, Javon Williams back to the line, Chris. Yep. And uh, he's been money down the stretch. Pull your guys back if you're red. You don't want to commit any fouls. By the way, uh, he's only a freshman from Wauwatosa East. He's a Red Raider. Was. He still is. Don't foul. Oh, boy. Ooh, good block. Holscher's going to get called for the foul. I guess you keep your guys up there. Offensive rebounds. Lots of them tonight. Be nice to see uh, UW Sheboygan in a couple weeks to see how they improve. Yep. It was nice to see him make a spirited comeback. They, uh, you, you had mentioned it too. They really looked dead in the water there for a while till they started making some baskets. So, good effort by the boys. They're gonna come up short again. Don't lose uh, heart. Just gotta keep hanging in there. Pitch on a fadeaway, no good, and that's the ball game. Washington County a winner, 84-75. No closing comments by the coach, so I will. <laughs> I just gonna say that uh, I kind of made it. They battled back, but uh, too much of a deficit there. Our next ball game is going to be December 10th. That's a Thursday when Manitowoc comes to South. Uh, we look forward to bringing you that game. Until then, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.